Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today uh, we're in the Government Center and proper, and we're going to run Mia since uh, she's got all the piercing, and uh, we uh, have uh, the Devour Blood Veil to kind of match hers as closely as possible here, and uh, we're going to run her. Uh, since uh, she does all the pierce and so this way we will be able to uh, get a whole lot of uh, shots out on the enemy and we'll be able to uh, kind of decimate them so uh, let's rock and roll and uh, what's going to happen here is a lot of uh, a lot of um uh use late rondo for sure and uh, we'll hopefully get uh, Mia going here with her communal as well in order to make sure that we have um ample 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 amount of damage and cooldown and health uh available to us and everything uh that we should be able to really 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 put out the uh hurt and the damage out on these enemies now the problem here is going to be when this fella drops down uh is he going to play nice and it looks like indeed he will be playing nice Ouch, uh, somebody, somebody hit me. Okay, this guy's shoot, shooting me. Okay, good job, Mia. Okay, and now uh, as this crew, this lovely crew, uh, joins uh, their way over here. Oh, we missed this guy. Okay, good. And we'll bring him over. And good. Backstabs are the order of the day here to make sure that we have ample amounts of, uh, of I-Core and uh, damage that we can put out from uh, actually using um, all of our gifts here. Okay, excellent. And you'll see that uh, Mia won't use um, the Ice uh, Guard of Honor as we make our way through here, unfortunately. Um, that is just uh, sad, and that's just Be how it goes, um, unfortunately for us. So, but we can use Fuselay Rondo. Uh, good enough here. Oh, and Mia's not going to get me because she's... Uh, oh, she did? Wow. Okay, that was... Oh, and then hitboxes. Okay. Uh, we were completely to the side, but it has like a AoE burst around it, like more like a square shape instead of like a... a thin piece of paper shape really okay. so this is going to be uh, pretty rough as we get through here but uh, we can simply run past uh, these first like two three groups of enemies in order to uh, continue on here which is not uh, too bad of a problem okay and 2000 damage is uh, absolutely ridiculous uh, for us to take on uh, one hit here and somehow these these clowns just don't care uh, about anything Okay. Good, we got our haze. Okay, these clowns are uh, uh, coming up here. Oh, Mia, hang in there. Whoops. What am I doing? I don't know. Pushing random buttons. Get knocked down. Yeah, what's up? Dynamite coming in. Okay, so uh, let's get this guy going uh, for some backstabs here. And Mia is uh, getting destroyed over there. Okay. Mia, hang in there, please. Uh, we'll go for this guy. Hopefully these guys get hit by the, the spikes. Uh, they did not. Okay. Have some spikes. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal here. Okay. Oh, come on. Good. Okay, we're, uh... Mia, don't stand there. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Tungsten. I want tungsten. That by a hair. Uh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> uh, some good hair, though. Okay, now, uh... Getting through here is not going to be actually... Uh, easy by any means, because uh, Mia's code is probably, um, I mean, it's averagely suited for this area and everything, but uh, the problem uh, with it is going to be just the uh, amount of uh, 
single target damage that we have. And uh, we definitely need some AoE built in here, but we don't have it, so it's unfortunate. Okay. Good. I mean, single target, if that's what, what the game was here. Uh, we are... Oh, what? That guy hit me? No way. Good job, Mia. Let's shoot him down. Okay, doggo. Good job, Mia. Nice. Uh, this guy just doesn't care at all. He just keeps uh, walking. He didn't see anything. He didn't see anybody die or anything happen. So he is... Uh, <laughs> that, that was uh, pretty weird that uh, that all happened right in front of him and he just didn't care. Good. And uh, backstabs are really, really, really powerful in this area, especially for the stinger type here because we are pierce uh, damage all the way. And so that is very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, nice. Get him, Mia. Get him, beautiful. Okay. Hey, okay, Mia with the uh, enemy switching there. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal again. Uh, I guess we're not really going to do very well here, uh, health-wise. Um, this is pretty bad overall what we got rocking here, but uh, we'll, I guess, make it work. Hey, Mia, hang in there. Yep, keep healing. Keep healing. Keep doing that. Okay. I wish uh, I could have Blood Awakening active all the time, but uh, Mia should do okay here. Uh, she's probably going to go down a couple times here, but uh, nothing that she shouldn't be able to handle overall. And uh, this is why oops, Pierce uh, damage is so good, even though uh, we do have uh, the uh, blood damage going on here and uh, ice damage for him to uh, take all the resistances here for uh, the 20% on our uh, damage here. But uh, just the fact that we're doing pierce damage over and over and over and over uh, for these guys, uh, they really can't uh, handle it in at, at all, really. Okay. And uh, the Cerberus Trooper is none the wiser here. And remember when you uh, run with regular meal, um, you don't need um, double stacks of... Uh, um, blood sucking blades because it doesn't uh, actually stack so keep that in mind we'll go for blood awakening here and it would be so nice if Mia would go for a guard of honor here and there along the way it would oh we're dead it would definitely help okay but uh, since she doesn't uh, that's kind of a problem well not really a problem but um, it definitely uh, hurts that uh, there's damage being left on the table for sure. Okay, and uh, let's see here. All right. Oh, come on. Okay, there's his uh, blood attack. Okay, and there's our uh, chop in the face attack. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're dead. Thanks, Mia. She's probably dead now. Uh, yep. Are we gonna be able to get her? Nope. Okay. Uh, definitely a failed uh, setup here. Everybody's running over. Uh, okay. And they have a fog wall there. They can't get past. Oh, this guy. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's one-on-one uh, -on -one here all the way to the end, uh, which is going to be really hard uh, for sure. Um, okay. Hey, dude. Okay. Good. And everybody is awake. How nice. How lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good. We'll go for some Iacor recovery here. This guy's awake. That's bad. Maybe we can get enough backstabs here before that guy uh, runs over. Okay. 
Uh, we're getting pretty lucky here with these uh, backstabs on these fellas. At least on this guy. Uh, we'll go for this. So we can head over here and do this. Oops. Good. Okay. I don't want to mess around with him too much, uh, especially since we only have one heal left and uh, all the all the um, healing items that we have. And oh, whoa, these guys are active. Okay, so that guy dropped down. Okay, so he's gonna run over here, and we're gonna have two of these guys now. Yep, yep, yep. We're dead. <laughs> Oh man, uh, that is a bad scenario to be in. All right, now unfortunately, uh, regular Mia, uh, this is about as stellar as she gets through the entire game here. So we're just gonna kind of run past these guys, uh, just because of the fact that uh, uh, we're we're gonna be in a really 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 horrible 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 uh, position here as we continue on with Mia and pulling her to uh, other sites of the map here like this where um, she warps uh, to the next area that is uh, where she actually gets um, a lot of power from because um, this way she will uh, warp and then she can do like a fuselade rondo or something and she can stagger some enemies and it makes for some really good uh, ability for her to reposition and everything, and since you see, you see her uh, health bar there just disappearing, uh, you can understand why um, it definitely is in your best interest to keep her at as far distance yep, as possible. And that's why, because she just really doesn't stand a chance uh, versus pretty much anyone. And so that's, that's Mia. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that is basically how she runs um, everything uh, in the game. And it's really unfortunate because she's an actual pretty good partner overall. Um, but the problem comes from the fact that she just doesn't have um, any of the uh, uh, multi-target kind of attacks, like any kind of AoE of any kind. And she is completely solely um, unilaterally... Uh, so like loaded out for uh, single target damage only and uh, when you have multiple multiple enemies like this uh, all over the place uh, she does not uh, fare very well in the uh, worst kind of way here just because of the fact that you know she just can't handle anything more than one enemy at a time and because of uh, fuselade rondo being what it is uh, where it um... okay we gotta get stamina because here's the uh, blood attack Okay, and I missed it. He's probably gonna do another one. Nope. Okay, good, we made it. Okay, and uh, if you don't have um, anything that does uh, late game AoE like this, uh, where you're doing only single target damage, then it uh, really, really, really becomes a problem because as you can see, you can take on one enemy, you can take on maybe two enemies max, and then after that, it's just uh, completely not possible to um, do anything because you're at the point where you need to take on, you know, groups of four, five, six enemies at a, excuse me, at a time. And uh, if you can't do that, um, you're just completely uh, out of luck altogether and without options. Um, it becomes a really, really bad way uh, to do anything. And you can see here that... Uh, since we, uh, whoops, let's go. Since we don't have any ability here to uh, hit multiple enemies, uh, we, oops, we can sort of hit multiple enemies if we um, s uh, switch Fuselade Rondo, but it's only good versus these guys because these guys have a blood weakness of a minus 10%, and so because of that, um, we're able to uh, do pretty good damage versus them, but then the Cerberus Troopers have a um, plus 20% resist to blood, so then Fuselade Rondo doesn't become actually good at all. And so that's kind of where this whole thing kind of 
uh, rises and falls on that knife's edge of what's good and when. And for for these guys, it just um, kind of is this interesting seat. Now, uh, Mia is using Guard of Honor there. There's my Guard of Honor. There's Mia's Guard of Honor. Okay. And this is where the jump back is very nice. Okay. Get her, Mia. Okay. He dodged uh, the wrong direction there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. There's Guard of Honor. Finally, we get to see uh, Mia use it. Missing her head there. And we'll go for a Guard of Honor. Nice. Okay. And the Icor Concentrate. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Uh, we got it, I think, two runs in a row now. That's pretty wild to actually get that uh, luck that way. Alright, and as we head on in down to the uh, elevator, I know it's not a great display of Mia, but this is why uh, Mia is kind of uh, not mm, used particularly often because of these exact reasons. Okay, we missed all of that. Wonderful. Um, because uh, in these later stages of the game where uh, you need big AoE, you need big, um, you know, sets of uh, damaging attacks and stuff, uh, you just don't have it with her in in any kind of way. Okay, so let's uh, let's kind of do since uh, we're all about single target damage with this setup, and we're doing blood damage in our um, in our fusillade rondo. Then we'll uh, go for the berserker and uh, show him what's up uh, because we have Mia, and we didn't really get a good uh, display with him last time. I think we had white Mia last time, and so to show off uh, Blood Spike, and so this time we will have regular Mia for this fight, and sh you will see uh, how much uh, she tanks in the face here with this fella. But um, having nope, uh, having uh, Beast Late Rondo active is uh, definitely helpful. But you can see uh, we definitely don't have uh, the damage here, and Mia is uh, just completely. Uh, knocked around by this guy completely all over the place. She just gets hammered by him really, really hard. Okay. And the the jump back is very, very nice on our attacks. And it's really, really good that we can uh, do the jump backs uh, because we need to get away from him as fast as possible. No, don't do that. Okay. Okay, let's get uh, some I core here. And you can see Mia doing uh, good work there with her uh, Fusillade Rondo and whatnot. Okay. And uh, we'll keep her at a distance and keep him going for us. And you can see uh, she pumps him uh, pretty hard here, uh, full of lead and everything. Okay. There we go, we got a launch because we hit him in the face. Uh, that's the only way you can get a launch uh, with this fella, is if you uh, get him right in the face, in, or in the in the front, um, and if you hit him in the back or anywhere else, uh, then it won't get a launch. Okay. And we'll uh, keep hitting him with uh, Fusillade Rondos. And you can see there Mia doing really good work uh, with the uh, bayonets and whatever. And, and she's just gonna pump him full of lead. There we go. Nice job, Mia. Okay, so single target damage. Uh, she absolutely uh, racks up the uh, the damage very, very quickly. She does a very, very, very good job. Um, but uh, as you see, when when there's multiple, multiple enemies of three, four, five guys running at you, uh, she absolutely does nothing. She's like the worst. Hello, and hello. And uh, these, and uh, as you can see here, she'll also do very well uh, versus this fella, even though he is a hammer bro. Um, she will do uh, very, very well. And uh, now that we are at a distance here, uh, she will do even better. And again, uh, sing single target damage, doing one thing at a time. Uh, she's very, very, very good at it. And, but you get her into a situation where she's cornered by several enemies and she absolutely goes down very very hard uh, And it's it's like super weakness for her. See ya Mia
and uh, that's why her build is really really good for um, doing you know one-on-one -on -one kind of encounters even if even if you have uh, really really bad resistances and everything um, to to your attacks and such uh, it's completely fine because you actually do really good damage overall between the bayonet shots guard of honor and having fuselade rondo kind of active on a pretty short cooldown actually i believe it's uh, seven seconds eight seconds um and so you can get that out there over and over and over and over and over again uh, pretty frequently and it's only seven i core so it's not extremely expensive uh, when you're getting nine i core back on a backstab you can easily pay for it so very very good stuff uh, with her and uh, the argent wolf berserker is not like a simple enemy um at actually he's i mean because of the backstab stuff uh, he he does uh, do pretty well and you can block all of his attacks uh, so there are some pretty good exploits for him um, just by using some simple uh, ideas but uh, when you when you talk about uh, which which um, which AI partner can do some really really good damage overall uh, regular Mia does fairly well versus single target stuff now uh, she's actually pretty horrible versus the Skull King uh, just because of his 70% uh, resist to blood uh, basically Fusillade Rondo the, the move that she spams over and over and over he nullifies it really really hard um, and it's not uh, it's not a good time uh, with him at all so uh, we're not gonna obviously be bringing her into the fight we'll be uh, bringing someone else into the fight and uh, we'll we'll see you guys then but uh, as far as the government center goes uh, for regular Mia uh, it's it's a no-go for her but uh, if you if you um, pair up with her against the Argent Wolf Berserker like that there um, or even uh, even any time you encounter an enemy one-on-one -on -one, she does really really well she has really good aiming she has very good aiming compared to uh, White Mia she actually shoots for the body and uh, she typically hits her shots pretty well uh, with her bayonet shots, but uh, most of the time she she does very very well. Uh, but it's again single target damage. So uh, when you're bringing uh, regular Mia along, make sure you uh, pay attention to that and keep that in mind. And uh, always go for hunting feast for yourself. Don't bring blood sucking blades because they don't stack. Reminder for regular Mia. And uh, okay, we'll uh, be here in the Skull King next, and we'll finish out 51 stars. And uh, got a good uh, good idea here for you guys coming in 52 stars. Uh, it'll be uh, pretty um, intense. But I hope you guys enjoy it. So we'll see you guys then, and we'll see you later. Darn.